Cholecystitis is a term used to describe inflammation of the gallbladder. When patients develop symptoms related to gallbladder disease like nausea, fullness, bloating, belching, sometimes vomiting, loose bowel movements, or uh, foul, passing foul smelling gas, all in response to a fatty meal, uh, the most likely cause when gallbladder problems are identified is that uh, gallstones are actually blocking up the gallbladder. Most of the time, these stones move into and out of the position where they're blocking the gallbladder. But in circumstances where that stone doesn't move and instead lodges itself within uh, the exit of the gallbladder, the gallbladder can become inflamed, swollen, uh, and quite painful. And the difference between the type of symptoms you would feel if you were just having intermittent uh, pain related to stones moving in, into and out of uh, position where they're blocking the gallbladder versus a stone that gets lodged there really has to do with the length of time. So if that pain persists for many hours, unrelenting, not improving, it's a good idea to go to the emergency room and be evaluated. At that point, you might get an ultrasound that can show that swelling in addition to the stone lodged in that position within the exit of the gallbladder. You may have a CAT scan done, which can show similar things. Um, if this uh, gallbladder is identified to be very swollen and angry, uh, we give you the diagnosis of cholecystitis. And cholecystitis in that setting when it sort of happens abruptly, or we use the word acutely, so acute cholecystitis, is often treated by removing the gallbladder within a couple days of the symptoms starting. The other thing that this type of problem is often treated with is antibiotics, but usually not uh, antibiotics alone unless you have medical conditions that uh, make it more risky for you to undergo surgery. The other time this word cholecystitis is used is oftentimes when we describe chronic or uh, a period of a long period of time over which the gallbladder is mildly irritated. And so oftentimes we confirm a diagnosis of chronic cholecystitis or, or low level inflammation over time when the gallbladder is removed and we look at the gallbladder under the microscope, we can see evidence of scarring and past inflammation. And so if you've had your gallbladder out and you hear that you had chronic cholecystitis, oftentimes it's just a supporter or indicator that you've done the right thing in removing your gallbladder because there was evidence of chronic uh, injury and inflammation over time. So that's what cholecystitis is, both acute and chronic cholecystitis. Um, please check us out at bostongallbladder.com if you have further questions or um, please make an appointment and we'll evaluate you in person. Thank you.